Baby cries after it sees mom's horrible fake tan. Not gonna lie, it would make me wanna cry too. What's going on guys? I'm your host Joss and welcome back to Inform Overload. We like to take the biggest stories on the internet and make them a little less newsy and a little more fun. Before we get started, make sure you're following the IO team on Instagram. The links are down below. And tell me down in the comments about your horrific fake tan experience because ladies, let's be honest, we've all had one. I'm not sure if they will compare to the girl in our story today, but but nonetheless, I want to hear about your tanning fails. There's a mom who went viral on the internet after posting pictures of her son Bobby reacting and crying in fear to her awful fake tan. The young mom is 25 year old Tony who just wanted an innocent tan for her first night out after giving birth. Her friend recommended the St. Maurice tanning mousse that claims to give you a natural looking golden glow. I do not blame the girl for trying, I totally use those like cheap tanning mousses. However, after this I might start to reconsider that. The girl only used a medium strength mousse and the color she got is the farthest thing from golden. She ended up looking like the incredible Hulk. She says that she applied the tanning lotion at night and was planning on letting it develop while she slept overnight. However, she was in shock when only two hours later she noticed her skin getting darker and darker. I mean, that kind of sounds like a self tanning miracle to me, but it wasn't for her because the shade began to turn Green, like green, how does that even happen? Tony explained her story and I think it's only fair that we hear her side of the story. She said, and I quote, I was going to a family party that weekend for my first night out since Bobby was born. One of my friends always looks really good so I asked her what tan she uses and she said St. Maurice. I'm really pale so I fancied a change. I followed the instructions, put it on and I got darker and darker then started turning green. The bottle says leave it on for around six hours or overnight, then you wash it off in the shower like you would a spray tan. I had it on for two hours and it was turning green. I was fuming. I bet that was the last time that she took her friend's advice on what kind of products to use. The worst part is she only used medium strength. The brand also has a dark and an ultra dark option as well. She would have probably looked like the Wicked Witch of the West if she would have used that ultra dark. Tony then explained that when she went into the room which her son was in, he began to cry. She could tell that it was scaring him so she started to panic because she didn't know what to do. He was sleeping when she initially put the tanning mousse on so when he woke up the baby didn't even recognize his own mother. She described the moment by saying, the moment he saw me he started crying. His bottom lip dropped and that was it. To help calm the baby down she gave him a bottle and sat with him in front of the TV so that he could calm down. She said it took half an hour for him to start calming down but that didn't stop her from capturing the reaction through some selfies. It's honestly impossible not to laugh when you see the pictures. I don't know what gets me more, the baby's face or the fact that her skin is literally green. It honestly looks like that Halloween body paint that people use. However, if you have a good bone in your body, you're probably wondering if she was able to fix her green skin. She admitted she was so green that she thought she wouldn't even be able to leave the house. She said she was scrubbing it as hard as she could in the shower, which seemed to do the trick. After the tan was rinsed off, she said she was left surprised with a nice glow. Now I want to know more about this brand because I need to make sure I stay as far away from it as possible. Turns out that it's actually not uncommon for a fake tan to turn green. Different tanning brands have come forward with information saying that this could happen for a variety of different reasons. If the tanning mousse isn't stored correctly in a cool dark place, then it can oxidize and process the tan to turn into a green color. Also, anything like deodorant, perfume, and moisturizers can also mess with the outcome of the tan. They also encourage everyone to check the expiry date before using, which you would think is just common sense, but we live in a generation that eats Tide Pods, so I guess this kind of reminder is necessary. Good news is the girl is able to laugh it off and says that she shared the tanning fail with her friends who also thought that it was hilarious. The brand she used, St. Maurice, has declined to comment on it. Go figure. A girl just bought your product wanting a nice tan, but turned into Shrek instead. What do you really say to that? I mean, an apology would be nice, I guess. This is a nice learning moment for all of us though, and please, for the love of God, if you have a picture of your fake tan fail, please share it with me. I promise I'm only laughing at you from a good place in my heart. I have also had horrible fake tan experiences where I was pretty much left looking like an Oompa Loompa. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. For now, I'm going to end this video by responding to some comments from my last IO video, woman pays for college by selling videos of her sneezing. Error Oboe says, seeing snot dripping down her face would be worth the money. I'm trying really hard not to judge you right now.
but I guess you're the one keeping her in business. Italy Costellum says, what the heck, I'm here in a whole bunch of debt and I could have just sneezed. Yo, you are telling me. You wanna start a sneezing business together? I am looking for a business partner at this point. Crunchy says, Jocelyn has a beautiful jawline. My God, woman, you have a perfect face. Well, thank you, that is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me, although I've never been complimented on my jawline. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you don't miss another IO video. If you wanna keep watching more IO videos, just click the playlist right over here. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you next time.